NFO, no jive five. Week number six. John Gruden sent some off-color emails about 50 years ago and now is apparently as evil as his doppelganger, Chucky. In a related story, the actual Chucky doll sent some bullying text to Teddy Ruxpin in 2007 and now he's been asked to step back from the lucrative film franchise. What does this have to do with actual football on a football field? I have no goddamn idea, my friends. But I do not think the Raiders can overcome it and beat the Broncos. The Washington football team is playing the Kansas City Chiefs. One team used to have a name that was offensive to Native Americans. The other one currently seems to have one, but nobody says anything about it because they're winners. Speaking as a one-quarter Navajo, I say, yutta hey, yutta hey, which, loosely translated in the native tongue, means... Keep politics the hell out of football. Chiefs win. The undefeated Cardinals are taking on the Brownies. All of a sudden, I'm supposed to believe Phoenix is a football town? A great stake? Sure. 18 holes of golf? Absolutely. But the last time I checked, Arizona was the place you went into witness protection or pulled over to pee on your way to someplace actually interesting. Brownies with the upset in Cleveland because... Let's face it, you desert freaks aren't fooling anybody. Jimmy Johnson recently said if he could draft anyone in the NFL, it would be Justin Herbert. Jimmy has a tremendous head of hair for a man his age. Justin Herbert does as well. At times, looking like an adolescent Brad Pitt before he discovered what a tube of Clearasil was. If the leaky Chargers run defense can slow down Lamar Jackson, I say great hair carries the day. 400 years ago, London had no indoor plumbing and people would throw their chamber pots out the window onto the street. The stench was incredible. Londoners will smell a similar stench when the Dolphins and Jags land for their matchup on Sunday. Someone's going to go home with a little bit of perfume coming out of their tailpipe. I say it's going to be the Dolphins.